and uh, some people are demanding. <laughs> No introductions needed there to Peter O'Sullivan, local accordions, introducing the productions here tonight at the International Bar. So uh, we'd like to go a little step ahead now and we would call on Clown Rohad Set, who will be accompanied by Noel Lynch and Pat Toomey. We'd like to thank the Clownrod set dancers there for a wonderful performance. And now I'd like to call upon the man who does most of his singing in church, but I'm told he does a little bit of it in pubs as well. So I would like to call on Pat O'Connell to oblige us with a song, and I hope you will all sing along with it as we go along. So I think Pat says it's Biddy Mulligan, so away he goes. Thank you, Donald. Uh, I'd like to see you all sing along with this one. It's a uh, little song from Dublin. It's called Biddy Mulligan, the Pride of the Coombe. You may travel from Clare to the county Clare, from Dublin right down to Macroom. And where will you see a fine widow like me? Biddy Mulligan, the Pride of the Coombe, me boys. Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the Coombe. I'm a strap of a widow that lives in a place in Dublin, they call it the Coombe. And me fortune in Easter, no king could exceed, from me palace consist of one room. 
Be Patrick Streak on a for 35 years I stood be me stall, that's no lie And while I stood there There was no one who were there To say black was the white of me eye Come on everybody You may travel from Clare To the county Kildare From Dublin right down to McRoom And where will you see a fine widow like me Biddy Monaghan, the pride of the coom, me boy. Biddy Monaghan, the pride of the coom. I sell apples and oranges, nuts and split beans, bullseyes and sugar stick sweet. And on Saturday night, I sell second hand clothes from the floor on the stall of the street. I have a son, Mick, and he plays on the flute. He belongs to the Dolly Mount Band And to do your heart good For to see him march out On a Sunday from Sandy Mount Strand You may travel from Clare To the county Kildare From Dublin right down to Macroom And where will you see A fine widow like me Biddy Monaghan the pride of the coom Me boy. Biddy Monaghan, the pride of the coom. One more time, come on. You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare, from Dublin right down to Macroom. And where will you see a fine widow like me? Biddy Monaghan, the pride of the coom. Me boys, Biddy Monaghan, the pride of the coom. <laughs> Thank you, Pat O'Connell, and now Helen Whedon, accompanied by Pat Toomey, for a hornpipe. Thank you, Helen. And we would now like to call on Mrs. Callahan for a song, please, if you would oblige. At last those walls came tumbling down, alas, they stand no more. Where dwell those noble clans, men, those gallant men of yore? Within those walls where men were born and many met their doom, we all lament the day it went, the castle of Macroom. Ren Eugene stay there and Willem Penn as well. If those walls could only speak, what stories they would tell. The proud salon flows gently by as I sit.
sit here in the gloom and it seems to say a sad farewell to the castle of Macroom. The castle grounds are lonesome now, we miss those ancient walls. For the older generations, happy days they must recall. Many a happy hour we spent, and many a love did bloom. Many a maid was wooed and won in the castle of Macroom. And now to end my story, sad though it has been, those walls are gone forever, but their grandeur we have seen. My thoughts go back to happier days as memory fills this room. I see again in fantasy the castle of Macroom. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. O'Callaghan. Uh, we would like to call out on two people who came all the way from Sligo, Kinney and Aileen Donner. So. I'd like now to call on somebody from the other side of town. Would Dick Deneen ever come up here, please, and sing a song for us? <coughs> there was a wild colonial boy, Jack Duggan was his name. He was born and reared in Ireland. In a place called Castlemaine, he was his father's only bride, his mother's love and joy, and dearly did his parents love the wild colonial boy. 
At the early age of 16 years, he left his native home and to Australia's sunny shore he was inclined to roam. He robbed the rich to serve the poor, that was his pride and joy, and a credit to old Ireland was the wild colonial boy. At the early age of eighteen years, he began his wild career. Upon a horse, he knew no danger, no spirit, knew no fear. He waylaid wealthy squires and all arms he did destroy of all those who dare to combat with the wild colonial boy. One evening on the prairie now, as Jack he rode along, a listening to the mocking birds singing a mocking song, out sprang three mounted horse police, Kelly Davis and Fitzroy. They were all set out to capture him, the wild colonial boy. Sing Sir Inter now, Jack Dogan, sure we are three to one. Sir Inter in the Queen's name, sure you're a plundering son. Jack threw two pistols from his belt and proudly waved them high. I'll fight before surrender, said the wild colonial boy. He fired one shot at Kelly, which brought him to the ground. And turning then to Davis, he received a fatal wound. But a bullet pierced his proud young heart from the pistol of Fitzroy. And that was how they captured him, the wild colonial boy. Okay, then, so for that, uh, so we'll uh, have to go on. I believe Michael Toomey has a recitation. Is he here? No, the young ones were going to a dance, so we said that we'd try and compare with the days of our youth when we'd done the same, so we sat there and watched them prepare. There's no such thing now as asking permission that isn't done anymore, but I remember when we were young, we'd be asking for three weeks before. After listening to all the rules and regulations, till we heard them again and again, the last thing we were told before leaving the house was, be sure and be in here for ten. But now it's ten before they start to get ready, and then the rushing will start. By the time they are finished and ready to go, They'll have every room in the house pulled apart. Then one of the girls came into the kitchen and she said, Mammy, what'll I do? Me hair wasn't washed since yesterday and the lads have used all the shampoo. I'll soon tell you how we used to wash it, but I suppose you're too grand for that anymore. We'd get a good lump of soap and a basin of water from the tub that was outside the door. There was reason to wash at that time, but things are different now. How they like if they were milking by hand and their heads twice a day against the ribs of a cow. Then one of the lads had this yoke he called it an electric razor. He just stuck it into the wall. He had himself shaved in a minute and sure he was no water at all. Well, I remember the first time I shaved. There was blood all over the place 
after cutting the head of the pimples that were dotted all over my face. And my father came into the kitchen. It was the first time I heard that man using a note. He said, what in the hell has come over you? Is there someone after cutting your throat? <laughs> then they started talking about this great big band that was coming to play. Big Tom was his name. He was known for music on TV and for every fame. And when they told me how much he was charging, I nearly died with the fright. But they said he was very reasonable at £1,000 for the night. It was then I thought of the dances in our times when we danced to the grand Irish tunes with Paddy Meat playing the accordion and Mighty Sean the spoons. For the jigs and the reels and set dances, no better men could be found and they weren't hard on the money either. They'd play all night for a pound. I happened to be outside the door this evening when this long-haired gorrier drove into the yard. You'd swear to on the nearest road he was driving or else he was chased by the guard. He was surely doing 70 coming up to the door and he had to jam on his brakes to pull up with the elbow stuck out of the window, a real sure sign of a pop. <laughs> <laughs> and in our time, you would dare dream of the like, you would meet her about a mile away from the house and put her up in the bar of the bike. And the next morning, I thought I had a cow calving in the field at the back of the house, so I got out of bed and crept down the stairs like a mouse. When I opened the door, I never got such a surprise. There they were, the two in the car, courting away in front of my eyes. All I could see was the tops of their heads as they peeped at me standing in the hall, as much as to say it was none of my business that I shouldn't be watching at all. Well, I never went out to see the poor cow, though in fairness I think that I should. I just went back to the room and left her calving the best way she could. When I told the wife what was going on outside in the car, I said, isn't the world gone to terrible pitch? Ah, she said, isn't it nice to see them having their comfort? Sure, all we ever had was the ditch. <laughs> to, hear, to hear the likes of you talking, you think you've never done the likes in your life. Will you forget what's going on outside in the car and get back into bed with your wife? Thank you, Michael. And I'd now like to call on a very venerable gentleman, very well known for his singing all over the countryside, not alone, McCroom, Mr. Connie Shannon, please. Once in the dear the days beyond recall, when on the wall a mist began to fall Out of the dreams That rose in happy throng Lo, to our hearts Love sang an old sweet song and in the dusk where fell the firelight leaves softly it wove itself into a dream just a song at twilight when the lights are low and the flickering shadows softly come and go though the heart be weary, shall the day and long still to us at the twilight comes love's old song. Sweet song. 
even today we hear that song of yours deep in our hearts it dwells forevermore footsteps may falter but we regrow the way still we can hear it at the close of day and in the end when life's dim shadows fall love will be found the sweetest song of all just the song at twilight when the lights are low and the flickering shadows softly come and go though the heart be with thee sad the day and long still to us at twilight of the long old song of the long old sweet song Would now like to call on Jean McCarthy, please, if you would oblige. Last night, all alone by the banks of the Boyne, some soldiers were calling far away. There was one soldier lad with his face pale and sad. To sweetheart is Lord, he did say. For tonight is our last night together. For the dearest and nearest must part. For a soldier must roam to the end of the world. With his thoughts on his loving sweetheart As we strolled hand in hand through the meadows Where we first fell in love, you and I Where you taught me to love you, sweet Molly now teach me to tell you goodbye For tonight is our last night together For the nearest and dearest must part For a soldier must roam to the end of the world with his thoughts on his loving sweetheart And perhaps I may fall in the battle What more can a brave soldier do? And my last dying wish will be Molly My mother my country and you for tonight is our last night together 
For the dearest and nearest must part For a soldier must roam To the end of the world With his thoughts on his loving sweetheart Shin Shin <laughs> Many fashions have come out of late No one comes every season One came out the other night Sure I can't tell the reason No one came out the other night The night was sad and lonely And I went and I bought the swallowtail coat And I called it my taggery on Oh, sing rex fal al fal al fal al Sing rex fal al fal on Sing rex fal al fal al fal al And the lad with the taggery on as I was walking down the street, I met the sad disaster. I bought a pair of skating boots and became a skating master. Now the night was cold and freezing hard. The lake was frozen over and the ice it went and down. I went and I went my taggery on. Oh, sing rex fal al fal al fal al. Sing rex fal al fal on. Sing rex fal al fal al fal al. And the lad with the taggery on. A lady who was standing by on me, she took compassion. She said, young man, come into the fire if you want to dry your fashion. I took consent and in I went. The fire was burning slowly. Ah, she cried, you man, stand back from the fire and don't burn your taggery on me. Oh, sing rex fal al fal al fal al, sing rex fal al fal on me. Sing rex fal al fal al fal al, and the lad with the taggery on me. The night got fine, the moon shone bright. The maid and I went courting. And just outside her father's gate, we heard two donkeys roaring. Her father had a little dog. They used to call him Tony. And every time I kissed the mate, he bit my taggery on me. <laughs> oh, sing rex for lal for lal for lal. Sing rex for lal for lal. Sing rex for lal for lal for lal. And the lad with the taggery on me. Chin chin. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jane. So we'll stick with the Janes. We'll go to Jane Callahan next. In my memory, I'm alone. I see the town that I have loved so well. Well, our school played ball against the gas yard wall, and we played neath the smoke and the smell. Going home in the rain, walking down the dark lane, past the jail and down behind the fountain those were happy days in so many many ways in the town that i love so well in the early morning the short factory horn called the women from Craigan, the moors and the bars, while the men on the dome play the mother's role, fed the children and then walk the dogs. But when times were rough, we had just about enough. But we saw it through without complaining. 
far deep inside was a born in pride for the town that I love so well. There was music there in the dairy air like a language that we could all understand. I will not forget, for their hearts are set on tomorrow and peace once again. For what's done is done, and what's won is won, and what's lost is lost and gone forever. I can only pray for a bright and brand new day, for the town that I love so Uh, we'll slightly uh, held up there for the moment, so uh, I think Marion O'Leary is coming there with her magic accordion, so... Thank you, Marion, and I think we have a belated Thomas Croner. I don't know where he went to, but... Uh, <laughs> so. If you ever go across the sea to Ireland It might be at the closing of your day you can sit and watch the moon rise over Tladden Or see the sun go down on Galway Bay Just to hear again the ripple of the trout stream the women in the meadows making hay Are to sit beside a turf fire in a cabin And watch the barefoot garsons at their play there is breezes blowing o'er the seas from Ireland. They're perfumed by the heather as they blow. But the women in the uplands digging pretty. Speak a language that the strangers do not know. <coughs> 
For the strangers came and tried to teach us their ways. They scorned us for being what we are. But they might as well go chasing after moonbeams. Our light a penny candle from a star. And if there's going to be a life hereafter, and so I'm sure I think there's going to be. I will ask my God to let me make my heaven in that dear land across the Irish Sea. Chin chin. <coughs> I want to call on one particular gentleman, and it took me an awful long time to get myself into such a position that I could do so. Mr. John Lucy, please. Oh, one day as I went for the stroll on the strand, I spied this young damsel, and she did look so grand. She had jewels of finery and a fortune in gold. I swear she was a damsel of nineteen years old. While I approached this fair damsel and I asked her consent, and off to get married, sure the pair of us went. And after a while, sure it's home I did stroll with my blooming young damsel of nineteen years old. Oh, and after a while shall I lay down to rest To retire for the night with my fair maid so blessed When a parcel of wadding from her waist she did roll Oh, you swear she was a damsel of nineteen years old Well, she took out her false teeth and she looked bloody fine she screwed off her right leg and she looked twenty-nine. It was out on the carpet, her glass I did roll. For she was nearer to ninety than nineteen years old. Well, she took off her false wig and her bald head did shine. Then off came three fingers, they were held on with twine. It was down off her face, the paint and powder did roll. Holy Moses, says I, sure you're ninety years old. Now all you young laddies, come take my advice. Check out all your women, just once or two eyes. Before you'll get married, there is one thing to know. Make sure she's a damsel of 19 years old. Before we call on Nora, we would like to call on Mrs. Shannon, please. She was. Once a little maiden climbed an old man's knee. Begged for a story Do, uncle, please Why are you single? Why live alone? Have you no babies? Have you no home? I had a sweetheart long years ago Where she is now, pet, you will soon know List to my story, I will tell it all I broke her heart, pet, after the ball, after the ball is over, <coughs> the break of morn, after the dancers leaving, 
after the star set <coughs> Many the heart is aching If you could read them all Many the hope that has vanished <coughs> the ball Bright lights were flashing In the grand ballroom Softly the music Music played a sweet tune. There stood my sweetheart, my love, my own. I want some water. Leave me alone. <coughs> when I returned, head. There stood a man kissing my sweetheart as lovers can. Down fell the glass pet, broken that's all, just like my heart was after the ball. Dancers leaving after the stars had gone. Many the heart is aching. If you could read them all, many the hope that has been <coughs> after <coughs> long years. Have passed. I have never wed true to my lost love as if she were dead. She tried to tell me, tried to explain, but I would not listen. Pleading was vain. One day a letter came from that man. He was her brother. The letter ran. That's why I'm single. No home at all. But I broke her heart pit <coughs> after the ball, after the ball is over, after the break of heart, after the dancers leave, after the stars had gone. Thank you very much, Mrs. Shannon. And now Noreen McCarthy on the tin whistle will hopefully oblige us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we come to the most difficult part. We have to start with the Murray family. So I think we'll start with Kate Lynch. <coughs> I've just received a letter from my home in Ireland. The scribble so familiar is my mother's feeble hand. A house that rang with music and of laughter now is still. Dear Danny, it's so lonely now among the Wicklow Hill. As I gaze across the mountain, I recall a moment's joy. The same old Wicklow mountain where you rambled as a boy. That photo of a child, that picture's by my bedside still. And each night I'll pray that you'll come back home among the Wicklow Hill. Do you remember long ago when in summer you would stroll? Down where the crystal fountain and the slainy waters flow. You recall a young companion who talks about you still. And you know who she's waiting to among the Wicklow Hill. As I gaze across the mountain, I recall a moment's joy. The same old Wicklow mountain where you rambled as a boy. That photo of a child, that picture's by my bedside still. And each night I'll pray that you'll come back home among the Wicklow Hill. And each night I'll pray that you'll come back home among the Wicklow Hills. Thank you, Kate. Well, I suppose no, Nora and I will certainly oblige. So. Memory, you're my lady. Your shining waters, tears of joy that flow. The beauty that surrounds you. I'll take it with me, love, wherever I go. While waking in the arms of distant waters, and you day finds me far away from home. Then Limerick, you're my lady, the one true love that I have ever known. As children, you and I spent endless hours of fun. In winter snow and summer's burning sun, we fished in silver streams. The fabric of my dreams was fashioned by your loveliness, and so I have to say, Limerick, you're my lady. Your shining waters, tears of joy that flow. The beauty that surrounds you. I'll take it with me, love, wherever I go. While waking in the arms of distant waters. And you day finds me far away from home. Then Limerick, you're my lady, the one true love that I have 
ever known A gift that time has made To travelers on their way Seeking out the beauty of our land A shrine where children play And bells ring out to say Thank God we're living just to see The beauty of each day Limnach, stum a spare van An shan a vair a jor a queen Le shan oi lot Em a himpo Er ma hashtal dam shafanen tu im Nyor a gusham er madam sme go huik nok His lor no fe praka Rome secure, then Limerick, you're my lady, the one true love that I have ever known. <laughs> Thank you, Dora. Uh, Tamari is next on the list. Could we have Tamari, please? Tom is coming in great haste. <laughs> I'm Jake the Pike, diddle little little um, with my extra leg, diddle little little um, wherever I go, through rain or snow, the people always let me know, there's Jake the Pike, diddle little little um, the day that I was born, sure the boss he nearly died, he couldn't put me nappies on no matter how he tried. <laughs> For I was born with an extra leg, and since that day begun, I've learned to walk on my own three feet. Believe me, that's no fun. I'm Jake the Pig, diddle little little um, with my extra leg, diddle little little um. Wherever I go, to rain or snow, the people always let me know. There's Jake the Pig, diddle little little um. I had a dreadful childhood, I suppose I shouldn't moan. When it came the time for a three-legged race, sure I won it on me own. And I was also very popular when it came the time for cricket. They used to rise me trousers up and use me for the wicket. I'm Jake the Pig, diddle little little um, with my extra leg, diddle little little um. Wherever I go, to rain or snow, the people always let me know. There's Jake the Pig, diddle little little um. I was a dreadful scholar, I found all the lessons hard. The only thing I knew for sure was that three feet made a yard. To count to ten, I use my fingers, and if I wanted more, by taking off my shoes and socks, I could count to twenty-four. Twenty-five. I'm Jake the Pig, diddle little little um, with my extra leg, diddle little little um. Wherever I go, to rain or snow, the people always let me know. There's Jake the Pig, diddle little little um, with his extra leg, diddle little little um. I suppose since we've, uh, we've had all the Murrays, we'll have to call on Boss Murray. I'll put it like this. I'll I'll start. I'll say, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Before I start, I'd like to thank every everybody that came tonight and that was instrumental in making what I think maybe I'm wrong a terrible successful night. <laughs> I sincerely thank boys, girls. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen should be the last beside them. 
That's my sincere thanks because everybody was exceptionally well behaved. <laughs> um, I, owe you, I owe you a lot over the past few years because everybody that's here tonight has been here with a good long time since we opened. Nearly every, everybody, I'll say everybody. No, I'll finish by saying I again thank all everybody that is here sincerely and that's the best. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> now, that's, that's not another, we finished there now, but I must start with another point. There's, I'm going to sing a song and when you're past the 60 touch, you're on the, like Bill Max says, you're on the downhill road. So we're, but we are not like, we can still take a man like. No, lads. Here we go, lads. I'm a long ways from home and my thoughts ever roam To all there in far over the sea But my heart it is there where the skies are so fair And old Ireland is calling for me Oh, I want to go back to that tumble-down shack where the wild roses bloom round the door Just to pillow my head On that old trundle bed Just to see my old mother once more There's a bright gleaming light Guiding me home tonight Down that long road of white cobblestone down that road that leads back to my tumble-down shack To my tumble-down shack in that lone There are eyes that are sad as they watch for a lad In that old-fashioned town of that lone And I pray for that day when I'm sailing away to old Ireland and mother my own. All together, lads. Oh, I want to go back to that tumble-down shack where the wild roses bloom round the door just to pillow my head on that old trundle bed just to see my old mother once more. There's a bright gleaming light guiding me home tonight Down that long road of white cobblestone Down that road that leads back to my tumble-down shack To my tumble-down shack in Adlock <laughs> You'll Hello, hello. Before I, fi before I, fi <coughs> yes, yes. Before I finish now, as the team is, there's a woman behind the man. <laughs> well, now it's the story. Someone asked me tonight, and they said, "Where did Nora get to sing, and where did Kate get to sing?" And I tell you the truth, I said, it's definitely not from their mother. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Here we go. A group of young soldiers, one night in a camp, were talking of sweethearts they had. Now all would be glad, but for one Irish lad, who was very downhearted and sad. I say, won't you join us, says one of the boys. Surely you love someone too. Oh, he lifted his head and slowly he said, Yes, I'm in love with who. One had hair of silvery gray 
and the other as hair of gold. One was young and beautiful, the other was grand and old. Those are the two that were dear to me. From them I never will part. For one was my mother, God rest her, I loved her, and the other was my sweetheart. Now my sweetheart was only a poor working girl, to who I was bound to be wed. But my father said, no, this just cannot be so. You must marry a lady instead. All the girls. One a hair of silvery gray, and the other as hair of gold. One was young and beautiful, and the other was bent and old. Those were the two that were dear to me. From them I never will part. For one was my mother. God rest her, I loved her. And the other was my sweetheart. <laughs> Okay. No, let's excuse me two minutes. In case I omit anybody now, I must start off to thank, as I have said before, serious now, seriously now, like 11 years old. The man on the television, I think he, did, he, did, he wants the greatest credit of all. And I hope that they're left on the air, in spite of all our politicians. Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, the progressive Democrats, every one of them. I hope they let the likes of him on the air because he speaks for a small man's group. <laughs> now let's, we'll go across the scene on our vision. Now, there's another fellow here and he's a bit of a character and I, I didn't include him but I don't know what I should or not. Donald Lucy. Yep. He shakes his head. And he <laughs> no, if I am letting out somebody, I'm terribly sorry, but I again thank you. I'm going to finish with a small little song. It's a lullaby when I learned from my mother when I was a baby. Bright wings that never grow weary, they carry me cheerily over the sea. Bright wings I long for you, dearie, I'll spread out my white wings and I'll sail home to you. High up where the hills they are craggy, it's there where the girl of my heart waits for me. I ho, I long for you, dearie. I'll spread out my white wings and I'll sail home to you. Sail home as straight as the arrow. My heart shoots along on the crest of the sea. Sail home to sweet Maggie Arrow In her dear little home she lays waiting for me So it's high up where the hills they are craggy It's there where the girl of my heart waits for me I, oh, I long for you dearie I'll just spread out my white wings and I'll sail home to you. Thank you. <laughs>